Hey everyone, I'm an American loser just like you, and today I watched Mayonnaise Man Origins at 0.25x speed and found nothing, absolutely nothing. Watch at your discretion. At the very beginning of the movie, assuming you got past the opening title sequence, when Steven Stevenheimer turns off his alarm, the camera has a seizure. It shakes like crazy, therefore giving the idea that this is a documentary. In the very next shot, Steven is walking out the door. In the background, we see a painting of a boy who looks nothing like Steven. Steven has blonde hair, while mom has red hair, and his dad has brown. This proves that Steven is adopted. Wow, shocker. Later, when Steven and his only friend are walking to school, we see that the background changes after this cut. Very nice. The weather is cold, but it's not here. Glad to be back, then. Yeah, I missed you. They're no longer in the neighborhood, proving that these two are jumping in and out of space-time so they can get to school faster. His friend also starts looking up for a few frames before it cuts away. What could he be looking at? Nobody knows. There's also a brisk iced tea in the bully's backpack. That plays an important role in the movie. I'll get back to that later. After Steven runs away, the bully goes to punch his friend. Only when he does punch him, he doesn't touch him. He doesn't even touch him. There's no impact. But the friend still gets knocked out. This proves that everyone is in on this together and they're just pulling one big prank on Steven. And when Steven is running, the friend has disappeared, but reappears later for a few frames, just watching them. Maybe he's watching them from the afterlife. What the heck is wrong with this movie? There's also a brisk iced tea hiding in the foreground for a bit. The brisk iced teas are everywhere. They're even knocking on my door right now. Who's there? Take. Take who? Take a sip of brisk guys tea. <laughs> on with the next bit. Now here. Look. After Steven jumps off the playground, the bullies just appear out of thin air. People are constantly phasing in and out of reality. This probably hints at some big plot later. Or it's bad editing. Then the bully throws a rock at Steven, but the rock literally taps the end of his shoe and Steven still falls over. That's one true Achilles heel. People in this universe need to strengthen their feet. Jumping ahead a lot because there is nothing interesting about this movie. Steven is back at his house where his dad is watching, I think, a Lego stop motion? This is actually the first and only episode of Mr. Rubber Nose's series. More episodes were never released. The mom tells Steven that she put some bread in his room for just a few frames before it cuts. The mom makes this face, hinting that she knows what's going to happen to Steven if he eats that bread. Jumping ahead, when Steven is getting mail, the letter addressed to him reads Colonel Mustard, but crossed out and replaced with Mysterious Person. This shows just how stupid Colonel Mustard is. And apparently Steven's address is literally 111111. Sounds like the password to my phone. <laughs> Going into his room, he pulls out his phone and texts someone. The text reads, Are you dead? Are you okay? And hello? Lou. This is, in fact, his friend who apparently went missing. Also, his friend's name is Jamantha. What a silly name. Those parents must really hate their kid. Jumping ahead a lot because this is one of the most boring parts of the movie and that's really saying something. Steven arrives at Colonel Mustard's hideout. His friend literally appears out of thin air. People really need to watch how they phase in and out of reality. They could end up disappearing forever. My dad must be a character in this movie. 
The following scene of Mustard trying to brainwash his friend and find out Steven's weakness proves just how incompetent Mustard is. He has no idea what he's doing, and when Steven wakes up, Mustard says this. Oh, you're awake! I do not see you there. That should show how short a memory Mustard has as well. Now, one of the most interesting things I found in this breakdown is if you pause at just the right time during the fight scene in the kitchen, you can see a silhouette. Who this belongs to, I cannot say, but I can give you a guess. I have no clue. Also, during the fight scene, you can see that every time it cuts, mustard shoes are going on and off. This proves my theory about how everyone is constantly uncontrollably jumping in and out of an alternate reality. One where mustard has shoes and one where he doesn't. This is some real Spider-Man No Way Home before it came out. Jumping ahead to the end of the fight, if you're, st if you're <laughs> still even watching the movie at this point, because if you're not, I don't blame you. If you look real closely, Mustard gets mortally terrified at a butterfly. Well, we know his weakness now. Cute things. When the cops arrive, a prisoner tries to escape the car, but the cop shoves him back in. But he runs away anyway. Jump ahead. When they're arresting a Mustard, the prisoner walks back in holding a drink. I guess he only wanted something to drink. He didn't want to escape. What a good Samaritan. But here's where it gets weird. When the car drives away in the reflection of the window, we can see the prisoner standing right on the street. You can clearly see he's a red hat. But whenever Steven is talking to his friend, when Steven moves his head, the prisoner is... <laughs> In the tree! This only proves even more my theory of everyone phasing in and out of reality. That or this prisoner has TP powers. Toilet paper powers. But when Steven turns around, the prisoner is right there. How? Literally how? This isn't even a part of the script. How? This doesn't make any sense. Also, the brisk guys T are almost in my room. Please, someone help. He introduces himself as Subaka, the leader and founder of a secret superhero team. But my question is, how and why was he arrested? Or maybe he was just going for a joyride. And that's the movie, the entire thing. I know, it's not even a movie, it's 22 minutes long. This is false advertising. I didn't leave anything out except for when I did. Hope you all enjoyed this 0.25x breakdown and I will continue to break down these movies as they release because I have no life. Don't forget, I'm a loser and I'm American. Ciao for now.